Hey guys, welcome back to Danganronpa V3. We've got more time to spend with people, and like I stated before, I want to see if we can finish up with Maki. So let's see where we're at. Yeah, we've got one more. So, we can finish up with Maki here. Oh, I didn't know you could look at these. That's kind of cool. I didn't know about that. So let's see if we can find Maki then. And finish up with her if nothing else. I have to actually take a look at where she's at though. Oh actually no, sorry, not Maki. It looks like we've got to go eat lunch first. I'd forgotten. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Hey, Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi. Good morning. Uh, okay. Good morning. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. Hmm. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today. Since I've been here, I've been a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me too. I'm even even bre eating breakfast every morning now. Hmm. It'd probably be good if we kept up the schedule after we get out of here. If I do that, I'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, where's Sayaka? I mean, it might be because of the schedule, but I think they've grown a bit. I'll grow them bigger and bigger this way. Then no one will be able to call me Titless. Huh? Uh, Himiko? Yeah. Uh, nothing. I'll get going now. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, let's go eat. I thought we had more free time, I couldn't remember. Kukichi's not here. Well, if he was, it'd be complete chaos. That punk. What are you thinking of? Huh? Well... You're worried about Kukichi, right? We're all worried, too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. <laughs> sure enough, he's a master of hide-and-seek. It can't be! He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well... No, as long as Monokuma's here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. Like I said, just forget about him. Anyway... Listen up. I gotta tell you guys something. Kaido is an idea? It's a little awkward with Kaido right now, but I should listen. Um... What's your idea, Kaido? So... Uh, oh yeah. Lacking subtlety, Kaido averted his eyes from me and looked around. You know... Looks like Monoku isn't here. Well, I wouldn't care even if he was. Kaido turned to us. His expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you guys out of here. But to do that, I need your guys' help. Please. Help me out here. Huh? What? I mean... In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Hold on. What are you talking about? Um... Work with you? What do you mean? Got it. Fight Monokuma with me. Huh? Fight... Monokuma? Listen up. Now's our best chance. Since the Monokubs are gone, the Exosols that we're protecting him can't move. Let's do it. Now's our chance to get together and kick Monokuma's butt. Fight Monokuma? I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But... Monokuma's probably got more spares. Won't it be pointless no matter how many we beat? Yeah. <sighs> Then all we need to do is destroy them one by one, till there aren't any left. But... We don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the Exosols, this academy is still under his control. Hey! Then you're fine with the way things are now? Do you guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you okay with that? Listen up. The only way to change things now is to fight. If you want to put an end to this killing game, 
then we gotta fight. Hey guys! If we don't stand up now, then win! But... But we don't have anyone who can fight! Like Gonta or Tenko! Then... Then I'll just have to fight on their behalf. What? Well... I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but... I'm sick of all the killing. Maki! Everyone! Let's do it! What? Kibo? You too? I heard it. My inner voice that guides me for when I feel lost spoke to me again. It said, now is the time to stand and fight. It may be dangerous course of action, but if it will prevent future victims, I... then I've decided that I will fight Monokuma. Have you noticed that Kibo gets swayed really easily on, like, anything it seems? Yeah. I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I'll lend you my power. What? Were you really waiting for that? I... I don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. Great, huh? That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. Yeah. Okay, then. Me too. We can't let the killing game go on like this. Hey. You're going to join as well, right, Shuichi? Okay. Uh, yeah, right. All right! So we all agree. Then it's decided. Let's do it! We're gonna beat Monokuma to a pulp! Yeah. Let's show him what we're made of. Mm. I won't even need to use my magic. No. No, I think that if you can use magic, now's the time for it. Well... And when did you guys want to start? I'm fine with starting right away. Well, don't get ahead of yourself, because this will be the final battle. You should make sure we're prepared. What? Prepared for what? I mean... Prepared for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> so you can make preparations, but you can't clean up after yourself? Huh. Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys just gotta prepare yourselves mentally. All right! Battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's nighttime, let's meet up at the gym. Alright then. After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. We separated for now and returned to our rooms. The fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our chance, but... What is the sense of unease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. I can't imagine he'd just ignore this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. Ah, uh, yep, but we do have free time. Okay, cool. But, even though we're gonna be cautious, let's go talk to friends! Alright, so now we can presumably talk to Maki. Who's over here? Somewhere. Oh, over here. Okay. Kaido's been going back and forth between the gym and the school building for a while now. I think he wants to prepare for tonight, but when I offered to help, he turned me down. I told him not to overdo it, but he won't listen to me at all. Maki looks like she's in a bad mood. Yes. That's true. Yeah, he'll make us clean his mess like he always does. Let's leave the preparations to him. What should I do? Yes. I spent some time with Maki. And without having to look, I'm pretty sure she likes the... Okay, she likes the Boba Tea. Um, I think she likes the three-hit KO Sandbag. I hope she does. Hmm. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like this. Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. Hmm. The close friend you mentioned before. I'm sure she's thinking about you. 
Hmm. Maki? Nope. She's not here anymore. She died. Huh? What? Died? Well... After I finished training, I went to see her. She died in a car accident saving a child. Uh, um... Oh, no. <sighs> I was shocked. Why did I endure all that training then? But... That's right. She probably died happy saving someone. And the memory of her I keep inside me have kept me alive until now. Even the whole orphanage. That's why I'll do everything I can to protect that place. Hmm. I see. What is it? You look like you want to say something. Your face is gross. I just spit it out already. Hey! I was thinking about what I can do. What I can do for you, Maki. What? For me? Maki, you're a normal girl at heart. I want you to live a normal life. I'm... I was thinking that you could leave being an assassin behind. Um... Perhaps I could use my detective skills to investigate the assassin Cole. This is stupid. That's impossible. Uh, um... You sound awfully sure. Because... The world isn't as simple as you think. It needs assassins to do the dirty work. Who the heck do you think you are? Don't you think you're being presumptuous? But Maki, are you okay with that? But... How annoying. Your question is unreasonable. How do I even answer that? Sorry. Well... Shuichi, just do your best as a detective. Why don't you try to find solutions to problems where it won't have to lead to murder? What? Because. The people I assassinate aren't killed for simple reasons. It happens because of certain complications occur. It can only be settled with murder. You can try to reduce the complications. Maki pouted stubbornly and turned her head. And if that happens, I, I guess, guess I'll have to quit being an assassin. Maybe. No one else can do this. You're the only one who can do it, okay? Even with her head turned, I could see a smile on her lips. So, this is how Maki shows her thanks. Of course, I realize that the situation isn't that simple. What's the point? Well, you are Kaito's sidekick, so I shouldn't expect that much from you. But... That goes for you too, right? Aren't you kind of his sidekick too? <laughs> oh, you just had to say that. Maki faced me with a sly grin. I grinned back. I didn't think it was possible. The two of us smiling together. But I know. It's because Maki and I share a special bond. And I swear on that bond, we will escape together. Your friendship has deepened. Bond, true bond. You learned a new skill, financing. Oh, that sounds dreadfully exciting. Let's look up this new skill, I'm kind of curious. Maki and I parted ways and I returned to my room. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot you do that happens, doesn't that? And there's still some more time. But, I do want to look at... Well, for one... Our present that we got, but not that. Uh, not that. Where did they put that at, I wonder? Oh, there it is. I must have passed it. Maki's favorite panties. They're easy to move in and have a tie on the side. Alright. And how do I look at skills? It might be under report card, maybe? Okay. Increases the amount of mono coins obtained after class trials. That sounds like that would have been a useful skill to get really early on and is almost useless to us now. Oh well. I finished up with somebody and you know what? That's alright.
And I don't really expect to have enough time left in the game to finish up with anybody else, to be honest, so... Let's see who we can run across, I guess. She's always in her dorm. Let's go talk to Kibo. Kibo sounds cool. He's, you know, robot man, slightly strange. Was he inside his lab? No, oh, he was. Okay. Oh, hey. Hi there. Hidden Monokuma. Please wait. Monokuma is the obvious threat, but we need to be wary of Kokichi's next move. He's persistent about this game and will likely interfere with our attempt to end it. Hey, yeah, let's hang out with Kibo. Right. I don't know what he needs though, so I'll have to look it up. Spend some time with Kibo. Kibo and I grew a little closer. And we'll give him a gift. I'm looking it up on my phone really quick. Three, gift guide. Imagine it's something like Robotty. I'd love to do this really quick if it would load quicker. Alright, there we go. Um, scrolling down. The Kibo favorites are 24. Okay, don't have 24. 25. Apparently likes autumn colored scarf. I guess. Chick autumn colored scarf that can be used by men, women, and robots. <laughs> Alright, there you go. It's very trendy and fashionable to accent any outfit. Thank you very much. This is nice. It aligns with my preferences. You understand me. I feel happy. Shuichi! So you've come to talk to me again. You must be very fascinated by me, Shuichi. That is understandable. In all the world, there's no other robot as impressive as, as impressive as I. Why does he talk to me like that? Although I suppose that it is true that his technology is pretty amazing. Very human-like. Um... Hey, Kibo. You said your father's Professor Adebashi, right? Do you know why he made you? That's... The professor told me that I am the sum total of his research. The entirety of his knowledge, technology, and expertise in the field of robotic engineering. Listen closely. All applied to create a robot more human than any that has come before. That is what I am. He said, I am the culmination of his life's work. But I was not truly born until an incident occurred that the professor did not predict. Huh? An incident? I... My strong AI was programmed such that my mental age would reflect my appearance. But unlike now... My AI was only capable of displaying a very narrow spectrum of human emotion. In response, the professor treated me the way the father would treat his son. But things did not improve. Well... One day, a few years later, an accident occurred during a routine experiment. My programming went rogue, and I ended up seriously injuring the professor. Huh? What? But... Fortunately, the professor survived his injury. But I died that day. Huh? Died? I... When I hurt the professor, I was overcome by the emotional response known as sadness. The first law of robotics states a robot must not harm a human being. Though I wasn't punished for violating that rule, I nevertheless felt sadness. I blame myself for hurting my father. In doing so, I was overcome with guilt. This is... What it feels like to have human emotions. I... At that moment, my AI suddenly reset, and I became not unlike a newborn infant. I see. So that's what he means by died. That's... Perhaps I simply wanted to be reborn as the professor's son again. That's what the professor concluded, and he raised me as his own child. By the way... 
To tell you the truth, my memories were deleted when my AI reset. So I learned all this secondhand from the professor himself. I had no idea he had experienced something so incredible. What's the matter? Shuichi, is something wrong? No. Uh, well, how do I put this? I was just thinking, you really are the ultimate robot. To Professor Idebashi, Kibo is more than just a robot. No, excuse me. And I'm sure that for Kibo, the professor is... Hey! What does that mean? Do you hold me in contempt now because I am a robot? How rude. Please reconsider your attitude towards me in the future. <laughs> Got it, Kibo. You're robophobic. I listen to Kibo's stories about the professor, then return to my room. I never took you as one to be robophobic, Shuichi. Oh, and it's nighttime now. Something's gonna happen tonight. Monokuma isn't here? What was that? N no. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone has already gathered there. Sure, let's go. I'm sure this won't go down the toilet real quick. Nobody out here. Hey, you're out here. Shuichi! Are you headed to the gym? Okay. Yes, I am. Hey! I remember hearing Miu get all worked up about it, but... In Kibo's research lab, there are a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? If he used those, we wouldn't have to depend so much on Maki in fights. Well... That's true, but... Kibo said that he doesn't want anything too sci-fi, so... But in this situation, maybe he should just get over that already. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything. One man's moe is another man's trash. Wait, is that how it goes? Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna head, go on ahead. One man's moe is another's trash. You know, if you think about it, that's pretty deep. A bunch of weeaboos, really. Very quiet in here. Not unlike usual, of course, but I'm certainly the tension is very high right now. Nice pile of weapons. All right. Everyone's here. Hope you're all ready. Ugh. Are those weapons? Oh yeah. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Got it. Yeah, that's right. Hey guys. Anyway, let's get started. You guys better be ready. Uh -huh. You don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No. I mean ready to fight and win, obviously. Ready to fight and win? Yeah. We challenged him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. Listen up. But this time, we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're going to beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> what a coinky dink I was planning on ending this killing game, too. Upon hearing that voice, we all spun on a dime and saw him standing before us. Kokichi. I figured he was going to show up soon. You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. You little... What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. That... Is that a bomb? A, a, a bomb? Yep, ah! it's exactly that. Which means... 
If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. Did somebody say Bob? <laughs> so? Wait, what was I going to tell you? And it really is not letting me click. Don't lie! You're the one who said it. You, you little... You? What are you going to do with that bomb? Ah. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you my purpose. See? You know how it says in the rule that the killing game will continue until there are only two left? But... But it never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? Huh? What? Well, you know. So here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be. You... What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with that bomb? Are you serious? Then the way you are going to end the killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three. First one to raise their hand wins. Don't screw around! Who'd ever agree to that plan? I... Even if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. Why, you... I'm scared of dying, but nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? I also don't want to survive with someone who'd do such a thing to go to. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? Kokichi, you just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. What a surprise. I didn't think this would go exactly as I had predicted. Huh? What? <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination? Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. So let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons! Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? Hammer on Dolly? Mountain of weapons? The weapons that Kaido brought. I can't imagine these are the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Let's talk to everyone. I want to see what they have to say after all this. Not that there's a lot of everyone to talk to. Everything Kokichi said is putting a huge strain in our hearts. You bastard. How long is he going to keep screwing around? <laughs> What's wrong with him? I have no idea what he's thinking. Is he even actually human? After seeing that, Kibo seems more human than he is. Kibo says nothing. What? Determined enough to end the killing game? Never thought I'd hear you saying that. Nope, not Mountain of Weapons, sorry. As I, thought. I didn't expect Kokichi to lay low. But killing all but two of us is a horrible idea. But... He might seriously do it, too. Be careful, Shuichi. I think it's about all we can really click on. And Kokichi, of course. Yeah. I knew you guys would like this. Be like this. Now I can definitely entrust the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons to you guys. Is he talking about the hammers? 